in this question we are given the word hello and we want to determine the probability that the word will start and end with the same letter after we rearrange the letters to form new words. So the important thing is, is that we are now talking about probability. So with probability, you always want to have the total options at the bottom, and then you want to have your event at the top. And our event is start and end with same. Start and end with the same letter. Okay, so I'm just going to write it like that. So let's do the total first. So when you do the total, this is the easy part. You don't put any restrictions onto it. You know that it's a five letter word. So we've got that over there. And we go ahead and we create the number of words. So we'll say for the first position there's five, then there would be four places, then there would be three places, then two places, then one places. So we could actually just say five factorial. Then we must just divide by any repeating letters of which there are the two L's. So we will put two factorial at the bottom over here. So let's work that out. And so that gives us 60. Okay. So what that means is that there are 60 types of words that you could make using the word hello. There are 60 different combinations. Okay, so that's your total. Now we're going to do the top part, which is start and end with the same. So once again, we're going to have five places, but the L's have to go at the front and at the back. So you must say one and one like that. Remember, we looked at that when we first started looking at words. Now we've used these ones over here. So now what we do is we see, okay, well, for the next position, we have three options available. So let's say we chose E, then we have two options available. And then lastly, we have the one option available. Okay, and if we had to go, and are there any repeating letters besides the ones that we've already used at the front and at the back? No, because the L's are taken already. And so between the H, E, and the O, there are no repeating letters. So if you go ahead and you multiply that top part together, you end up with six. So there are six combinations that start and end with an L and there are 60 combinations that you could make in total. Then if you go simplify that on the calculator you would end up with 1 out of 10. So here we go given the word Mississippi which we have looked at in previous lessons but this question is going to be slightly different. It says determine the probability that the word will start and end with the same letter after we rearrange the letters. So because it's probability, we need to have a fraction where at the bottom you'll just have your total and then at the top you will have your event which is to start and end with the same letter. So start and end with the same letter. So let's look at the total first. So we've got 11 different spaces and so we've got 11 different types of words so that will obviously just be 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we can say 11 factorial, but then we must look at all the repetitions or repeats. So the eyes, there are four of them. So I'll put four eyes over there. So that's those four eyes that we've used. Then there's four S's. So we've used those. And then there are two P's. So we'll do that. And if we go work this out, and we have done this in previous videos, as I've said, we should get 34650. So that is the total number of words, different types of words that you could make using the words Mississippi. Okay, so that's going to be 34650. Now what we're going to do is look at how many ways could you make use the words uh, the letters from Mississippi, but the beginning letter and the end letter must be the same. Well, can you see that that could happen with the I's? So we'll do the I's as one calculation. It could happen with the S's, and it could also happen with the P's. So let's do it with the I's first. So with the I's, if you've got 11 letters, and you've got the word Mississippi over here, then if you want to put an I in the front, you put a 1 there, and then a 1 there. So let's say we've used that and that. Then the remaining letters, there will be nine of them, so that will just be nine factorial, but then you must divide by any repeats that are left over. So the repeats will be the four S's, so we'll put four factorial. The repeats will also be these two I's, and then there will also be two P's over here. And that's going to give us a total of 3,780. Okay, so for the I's, there are 3,780 different types. Now let's look at the S's. So if we start and end with S, let's use that one and that one. So that's one and one. Then once again, there's going to be nine letters left over. So that would have been nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that's why I'm just saying nine factorial. And then we need to look at the repeats. So we've got four I's. So that'll go at the bottom. 
we've got two S's left over besides the S's that we've already used and then we've got two P's over there. Okay, so if we go work that out, that's also 3,780. So that's for the S's. Now we're going to look at the P's. So there they are. We're going to put them in the front. That's a 1 and a 1. Then you're going to have 9 letters left over. So that'll be 9 factorial. Well, we should technically say times 1 times 1, but timesing by 1 doesn't do anything. Then at the bottom, okay, so we've used those. So now we need to look at the repeats. We've got 4 I's available. So we put that at the bottom. If you're battling with what we're doing here, then you must watch the earlier videos when we started prob the probability chapter. And then for the S's, there are four of those. And that's it. So now we can go work this out. So that's going to be 9 factorial over 4 factorial times by 4 factorial. And that gives us 630. So now what we do is we just add these three together to get the total number of numbers that are or well, the total number of words that you can make where they start and end with the same letter. And that's 8,190. So the fraction is going to be 8,190 out of a total of 34,650. Uh, 34, sorry. And if you type that in on the calculator, you end up with a fraction of 13 over 55. So in previous videos, I might have just said, determine the number of words that will start and end with the same letter. So your answer would have just been 8,190. But now that we are busy doing probability, you must divide it by the total.